Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of Winning with SketchUp. In this video we're going to take a look at a trick for creating 3D roof geometry. And in order to do this we're going to use a couple different plugins. The first one and the main one we're going to use is Floor Generator from SD Mitch. And you can download that through the Sketchcation plugin store. And once you have that installed you'll find it in your drop down menu under the SDM tools and face tool and you'll see floor generator here and it also comes in as a toolbar here. We're also going to use the S4U2 components plugin. You can download that. We're going to use selection toys from TomTom. Tom. Uh, make sure you have that and the other one we're going to download just going to help us with texturing is the random select plugin from TIG and we see that here and that'll be in our drop down menu. So. Let's get started. Um, the first thing I have here is two flat planes which have been rotated up to represent roof planes. And we're going to call Floor Generator first thing. And what Floor Generator does, and it's great for flooring if you haven't played with the plugin at all, I recommend getting it for flooring as well. But we're going to use this here to create our roof geometry. So the first example, we're going to start with a brick pattern. We can see there's a bunch of different patterns here. I'm just going to start with the first one, brick. We're going to set our size to 8 inches, our width to 4 inches. Keep our gap, depth and width both set to 0, offset to 50. Everything else at default except the very last button down here. We're going to toggle create individual groups and make sure that's checked. And as soon as we have all that, we're just going to click here on our face. And that will go through and take this pattern and intersect it with this face. And the only downside with Floor Generator, it's a little bit on the slow side, but overall it does um, an amazing job here. So we've set our gap depth here to zero. So everything that we have here is gonna, going to be flat. So let's close this and get in here. And I want to get into, I'm going to select all, I'm going to hit Control A, and now I'm going to select only the groups up here with selection toys. And we can see that here we have 255 groups. I'm going to group those as well so I can get into those and isolate them. And in order to isolate things I'm using the model info option here under components to make sure the hide rest of model is toggled. I also have um, the similar components check to hide and we'll turn that on and off here in a second. So the first thing we're going to do here is convert all of these groups into instances of each other or copies of each other. So let's hit control A and select all of them and then we're going to hit um, control shift and click on this lower bottom left tile and deselect that. So now we have all but one selected here. And we're going to use the S4U two components options, the very last one here. And this is select components for replace. So we're going to click that button and we're going to come down here. We're going to click this one that we left deselected. And that went through and now we see we have 255 here in the model. So what we're going to do now is select one of these, right click on it, go to group copies. This is part of the selection toys plugin. Go down to convert into components. So now we have 255 component instances here set up as our roof. Now we can get in here and we can model one of these so we can add a little bit of thickness to this if we want. Um, we can select everything here and rotate this up on the green axis by about 5% or so. And we can get in here and pull this down. And you see we have a little bit of errant geometry here. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to triple click on this and let's use the plugin 
fix it 101 and that'll go through and just clean up those couple extra edges there that we had um, from the intersect now we can see that because all of those were component instances that we've created 3D roof geometry here and we can get in here now and toggle off fade similar components and we can play with this here um, push pull that out a little bit we can create a little gap in our roof tiles so that picks up a little better shadowing there and whatever else we wanted to do so we could add um, anything we wanted to one of these tiles and the rest of them would follow suit because they're all instances here so we can see that So now what we want to do is we want to texture these and let me get back in here. Okay. So in order to do this, we are going to texture the outside of the group and that way that this will leave all of our components as instances. So we're going to leave a default material on here and we're going to go into colors and I'm going to go down and we're going to color this um, in these darker grays down here. So I'm just going to grab one color to begin with. And what we want to do is we're going to select all. So control A. And now we're going to call random select. And we see that here. And we're going to make four colors total. So let's go 25%. And let's texture that. So I want to give this texture a name. Roof, let's call it Slate 01. I'm going to take that material name and I'm going to copy it. And now what I'm going to do is create a new material here. I'm going to paste in my name that I just copied and I'm going to change that 1 to a 2. And I can just change the lightness here on the color wheel just a little bit. Say OK. Now what we want to do is we want to select all again, but we're going to use the selection toys option, and we're going to go to, let's see if I can get this visible here, move this up, we're going to go to select only front default material, so that deselected anything that had a material on it, and now we're going to run random select again and we're going to go to 33 percent and we'll texture that let's create a new texture now paste our name in here change that to a three lighten that just a little bit more say okay select all select only front default material going to go to random select we're going to Go ahead and apply that material, and let's just do this one more time. Make number four here. Go up a little bit lighter. Say about there. And now let's just select all, select our front default material, and texture that. And just like that, we've created um, very nice 3D slate tile roof geometry. I'm going to get in here and add a little more thickness to this if I want. And most of the render engines will render now the uh, material that's applied to the outside of the group. So we could also get in here um, and do the same thing if we wanted to with a texture and apply a roof texture material to that or, or a sl uh, shingle type asphalt texture and I have one here I'm gonna go ahead and open that up and we'll set this to 8 
inches and break the um, connection there on the aspect ratio and then set this to four inches and say okay and we could get in here then say all select all random select all the way down here there we go and we can see that'll drop in there and fit perfectly and we just do the same thing um, call this asphalt one copy that name make a new material and we're just gonna change with color eyes here just change the color a little bit paste that in there go asphalt two and we'd have to go through here and see, we could select all active with the same material. It's part of selection toys as well. We can paste that in there, make a new material. We'll call this Asphalt 3. And let's go a little bit darker here, say OK. Let's grab this and go to select active with same material and we'll paint that in there. And let's make one more. Call that four. lighter there and let's grab this one select active with select materials and texture that and we can see that it's a little bit too much so now we can just get in here and visually tweak this and sample our materials here and bring them back um, so they're not so contrasted there so something like that so that would give us an option now to put a bump on there. And I'm just going to do a quick test render here with Thea and take a look at what that looks like. And that will add a lot of um, good detail overall to our render. And the other really good side about doing this is um, because we're randomly using the texture here in this method of placing these textures, we're not going to get um, the notorious issue of having the, um, the tiling effect that we see in a lot of um, renders with roofing in particular because it's a really hard thing overall to get um, a roof texture that's large enough because um, you generally have a really large area when you're talking about a roof and the texture will always seem to stand out so stop that there and so that's the example there for a shingle or um, maybe a slate tile there and how we would go about doing that so now let's look at using the same type of method but this time we're going to use or create more of a um, Spanish tile. So let's go back to our floor generator and let's set our pattern to tile now and what we're going to do is we're going to use a length here of let's say five inches or so um, width of ten which that doesn't seem to matter it seems to create the tile pretty square Leave everything else default, um, gap width and depth to zero again, offset to zero, and then create individual gaps or groups um, checked. Make sure we have that checked. And we're going to go ahead and click on our roof plane here and let that go through and calculate. And okay, this time it did um, go five by ten. So let's get inside here. 
to select all and you can see we only have groups in here now and we're going to do the same thing here we're going to select all deselect this lower tile here we're going to use the s4u2 components replace option we're going to click here and now we can see our definition has changed we have 175 right click we're going to go to group copies convert into components and now we should have 175 components here let me get in here and i just want to make sure i have a default material on here the way floor generator works is if we have a material in our material window it will apply that to um, the geometry that it creates and it's doing that through um, the material here so it'll give you some options as well you can randomize things but we want to keep everything um, as instances so we're going to leave just a default material and now we can get in here and what we're going to do here is we're going to come up with this and let's come down just a little bit and let's make an arc here just use the arc tool and get in here and let's offset this delete those edges there we can bring that back and get rid of that um, we can also cut out the center here and before I do that I'm going to come down this way here and I want to toggle off everything else so I'm going to go back here to my model info click hide there and I'm going to bring this across here. And I'm just going to come maybe from this side here. And come down. Let's just create another arc here. Delete those extra edges there. endpoint over and we'll zip off the rest of this here so now we can get in here um, let's select all and we can bring back the rest of the geometry here we can grab this here rotate it up on using the green axis like that and now we can get in here and extend those so we have a little bit of overlap um, like that and that looks good now we can get in and do the same technique that we did to create um, those randomized textures. And I'm just going to use some keyboard shortcuts and do this here um, fairly quick. So I'm going to go to colors, and grab a material, let's say roughly this color, and then we're going to get in and edit that. So I'm just going to go select all, random select, I'm going to go 25%, I'm going to texture that there. And Go to hue saturation, bring our saturation down on that. Turn up our lightness a little bit. Go somewhere in there. And call this Spanish tile 01. Copy that. Make a new texture. I'm going to paste that in there. Make it 02. And I'm just going to change the black and the saturation sliders here. Say OK. Now we're going to select all. We're going to select only front material. Random select. We'll go to 33. Texture that. And just tweak that a little bit. 33. Select all. Select front. Random select. Let's go 50 and drop that in and we can play with this a little bit and 
let's make one more. Say OK, select all, select only front default, texture that, and tweak that a little bit, add some variance there. So there we go, looks good. And we can just quickly do a test render on that, and we'll just see that at least with Thea render, you're able to go ahead and um, pick up the material on the outside of those groups. So you can add as much detail then to each one of those roof tiles and very quickly and easily um, achieve that result that we're looking for here. So there's a little trick for creating two different types of um, 3D roof geometry in SketchUp, which will add a lot of realism overall to your renders. So I hope that was helpful, and we will see you in the next video. Have a great day.